Hi students, uh, in this session we will look into the need for modulation and the various frequency bands used in a communication system. Okay, so I will share the slide once again. So one minute. Yes, I am sharing. Yeah. So this is. Uh, yeah, why we need modulation? So, uh, so the final and actually we I discussed about this one to increase the power or power of the message signal. So the power of the message signal is very less because the frequency is very less. So our audible frequency is from 300 hertz to uh, 300 hertz to 300 300 hertz to three. 3300 hertz that is 300 hertz hertz to 3.3 kilohertz so uh, our audible range is from 20 hertz to uh, 20 kilohertz that you are uh, aware of it uh, but our human voice signal is uh, uh, concentrated around uh, this one, 300 hertz to 3.3 kilohertz. So low frequency signal. So the frequency is low means the power is very low. So it will not travel longer distance. So in order to reach more distance, for example, FM radio, that is 92 point, uh, that FM radio, many uh, uh, radio mango is there, the radio mirchi is there, a, lo a lot of FM radio sector are there so in order to reach more distance they have to uh, modulate further okay so we have to superimpose this message signal into a carrier signal and then transmit it there are two types of uh, modulation scheme we studied that is a modulation that is amplitude modulation and frequency modulation so in so the first uh, uh, function of modulation is to increase the strength so as to reach more distance and next one is very, very important to reduce the height of the antenna. The height of the antenna is equal to lambda by 4, the order of lambda by 4. Lambda is equal to, you might be knowing lambda is equal to, so lambda, uh, lambda is equal to uh, C by F. F is equal to C by lambda, right, is C by lambda. So uh, F is the carrier frequency, the frequency of the signal we use for transmission and corresponding there will be one lambda and the antenna height height of the antenna should be in the order of lambda by four lambda is the operating wavelength or operating frequency you can say lambda in terms of frequency then it is uh, operating frequency or operating wavelength so the height of the antenna for proper reception and transmission of signals through antenna we should have the antenna height in the order of lambda by four lambda is equal to operating wavelength for example, 1 kilohertz, so F is equal to C by lambda, right? So F is equal to, we can say F is equal to C by lambda. So lambda is equal to, we can say C by F. So when lambda is equal to 1 kilohertz, so here it is 1 kilohertz. So 3 into 10 power 8 divided by 10 power 3, that is equal to uh, 3 into uh, 10 power 5. So lambda by 4 is equal to taking lambda by 4. This is lambda. Lambda by 4 is, is approximately equal to 10 raised to 5 um, uh, meters. That is almost equal to 100 kilometers. See, if you are using 1 kilohertz is the transmission signal uh, frequency, then the lamp, uh, height of the antenna is equal to 100 kilometers. So it is not practical. Uh, practical to make an antenna of this much height okay 100 kilometer so what do you have to do so we will increase the frequency for example uh, frequency of operator is equal to 1 megahertz so what is 1 megahertz 1 megahertz is equal to so uh, lambda is equal to c by f and corresponding 3 into 10 power 8 divided by f is equal to 10 raised to 6 that is equal to 3 into 10 power um, uh, this is uh, uh, 2, correct, 300 meters, lambda by 4 is equal to, uh, you will be getting around uh, 75 meters, less than 75 meters, okay. So 75 meters is, okay, fine for an antenna, and if you are increasing the frequency, that's why the dish antenna, 
the parabolic dish that is placed in front of uh, even in the uh, uh, in a one storied building in the on the top we are placing the antenna because the height of the antenna because it operating at several megahertz so that uh, it can be the height of the antenna is not a problem for uh, this dish type of antenna parabolic antenna and another important uh, aspect is multiplexing of signal that is transmitting many information signals simultaneously through a single carrier so that, is, that is called the multiplexing no need to study more details about multiplexing so for example uh, actually whenever uh, uh, this uh, uh, classes online classes i am asking are you students are you there uh, uh, i am normally this is a question i am always asking or uh, uh, do you understand uh, do you understand then you are simultaneously saying yes yes sir we understand or are you students are you there yes sir we are here so that time more, more number of info many students are saying yes sir we are here right so the all the informations are transmitting simultaneously so that is called the multiplexing so multiplexing is only possible uh, using this modulation so here it is signal 1 that is boy 1 and boy 2 and boy 3 all are saying that yes sir we are here and they are transmitted together through a single channel single carrier so that is called a multiplexing multiplexing is only possible with the this modulation technique okay and these are the frequency band used for various communication system this is very easy you can understand 30 hertz to 300 hertz then 3 kilohertz then 30 kilohertz uh, then 300 kilohertz 3 megahertz in three uh, range it is moving so very easy you can if it is asking for examination very easy you can remember so so this is extra low frequency uh, ELF stand for extra low frequency, VF stand for uh, uh, voice frequency. I was saying that this is voice frequency in the previous slide. I was saying from the voice frequency band is from 300 uh, hertz to 3.3 kilohertz, right? So voice frequency, then very low frequency, then large frequency, medium frequency, high frequency, very high frequency, ultra high frequency, super high frequency, extra high frequency, then the visible range. Uh, the visible range is from 400, 400 nanometer to 700 nanometer. So the upper side it is wavelength, it is decreasing in the lower side frequency. Wavelength and frequency are inversely proportional. If you see the C by lambda, right? So uh, it is very easy, no need to write all those things in the wavelength, but better to write this one. This is easy to remember 30 hertz, 300 hertz, 3 kilohertz, 30 hertz, 300, then 3 megahertz. That way it is moving. Okay. So uh, uh, this is uh, extremely low frequency is used for power line frequencies and low end human radio. So voice frequency is one three hundred. That is typical range of associated with the human voice uh, that I told you yesterday. And the human hearing is from uh, this much audio frequency is this much. And very low frequency, this is used for uh, submerged submarines and low frequency is for uh, long range radio navigation medium frequency 300 hertz uh, that is am radio long range communication and high frequency it is also known as short wave used by two uh, two way radio and very high frequency is for radio communication that is fm radio ultra high frequency tv military and cell phones that is megahertz range super high frequency gigahertz range that is satellite communication microwave etc and extremely high frequency also they are used for satellite communication okay so i am stopping this point but uh, you must understand that there is a super heterodyne receiver so receiver uh, so super heterodyne receiver is uh, actually used at the receiver side we can uh, talk about the transmitter side where the modulation is happening and at the receiver side we have a receiver in between there is a channel for as per your uh, syllabus point of view, you have to study the modulation technique AM and FM and then the super heterodyne receiver. We will continue the super heterodyne receiver in the next class. Thank you. Thank you so much.